Hello, Brandon's family and the rest. It is I, Fallen Fury, and welcome back to my Let's Play the Remake. In the last episode, we uh, got owned by a hunter, ripped our face off a little bit, and um, we got to this basement thing after we used our first mansion key to get in this door. And what I just did there was um, the power was off, and I got back online. You think that since there was sparks going down, they think it would electrocute me, but. <sighs> Jill has rubber boots on, so it doesn't electrocute her at all. Good. I locked it. Yes. This is actually a place I haven't been to yet. It's the, it's the kitchen. Um. Yeah. Kitchen. Good. Dagger. Better. <laughs> all right. Uh, not much to do here except the zombie. Bitch. All right. Uh, let's just go out this door. Nothing bad is going to happen, right? That's the last sword key door. Oh, it makes sense now. Okay. I'll come back and use that off screen because... Oh my god, another zombie. I don't want him to come back alive, so... Burn him. Yes. Alright. This is also an area we haven't been to yet up this elevator because we needed the helmet key because intricate pathways and all that junk to get here. I, I gotta tell you man, to have a house with an elevator in it has to be awesome because that's the epitome of laziness. No stairs, no nothing. There's like 14 floors to this freaking mansion. Is there any more zombies in here? I'm sure there is. Ah! I was, I was right, I was right. I hate when I'm right sometimes. Oh. Ow. Got burned by my own retard. Oh well. I'm almost out of space. I'll just take these and use one because I've been damaged quite a bit. I'm sure I'm not in complete full health. I need to go back to a safe room. I knew I shouldn't have taken the shotgun. Silly me. I'll only equip it anyways just because I can. Oh my god! Huh, slow moving zombie. Die. Yes. <laughs> Can I go through here? The knob is broken, doesn't look like it'll open. Well, that's just a load of bullocks, isn't it? More zombies? Nope. What's in here? I think there's a battery in here, which is very important for later on. I think. Shotgun shells. Acid rounds, I don't need those. I already have 240 of them. Okay. This is basically just like a little item room you can get. Battery pack. Always good. And battery. A lot of battery stuff in here, isn't there? Battery! I love Metallica. Great ass band, if you do say so myself. Even though Lars Ulrich is a prick. I mean, come on, how many of you guys agree with me? Lars Ulrich is a prick. Someone has to agree. If you don't know why he's a prick, it's because he's like the spokesperson for the NRAA. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's the, like the people who's against uh, um, sharing music online. <sighs> yeah, so that's why he's a prick. <laughs> but he's a good drummer, though. I heard he has like some kind of disorder where like he can't, he has like he can't hear out of one ear and like. He hears like a bunch of noises and shit, so like he can't drum very well. That's why it looks so weird when he drums. But enough about Lars Ulrich. Back to Resident Evil. Jill needs the attention now because she is the main character of this game. Except when you're playing as Chris. I never really got that. Like, um, like how can the story change up so much just by like certain characters? I don't, I don't get it. Of course, you can't question Resident Evil games. There's so many illiteracies in this game, it's like ridiculous. One more. F Wait. I'm so stupid. Okay, hold on. Put this. This. Why did I do this in the first place? I had two stupid blue herbs and I could just been like, oh. Yay. Now I have. Wait for it. Three bound poopy or herbs that are actually really good. Awesome. Put this in here for now. We don't need it until later. And same with this. Alright. 
Um, any more doors we can open? I'm sure there is, but I just need to, can't remember any at the moment. There's apparently red in this room. I don't know why it's saying that. Is there something over here? Oh. Special instructions when disposing dead bodies. I'll let you guys read this. I was, supposed to, I was supposed to get this in, like, the first couple parts. Yeah, this is where you, uh, know what to do with them. For their instructions, you can either... You can also, uh blow off one of their limbs. That's also good. I think it's their, only their legs you can blow off though, which is something. Alright. Put everything in here. Awesome. Alright. Wait. Well, where should I go next? Oh, I can go upstairs. Duh. <sighs> uh, this game is really, really like, whenever I play any Resident Evil game, especially this one, I think of backtracking. Why am I going this way? I'm so stupid. I don't even want to go this way. Damn it. I guess when you get to talking, you don't really realize where you're, where you're going. Now, see, those windows look like they could be broken out of. But I don't know. I guess... They did that to scare you or something. I need to show you guys what the like. You guys should go check out what the uh, um, first Resident Evil looks like and compare it to this game. It is, uh, it's crazy how much well they did with this game. Ooh, a new room. Eagle. Mail from the chief of security. Got so many files. X day. Cross day. Execution day. Well, that's not good. Lure stars. Seems like this is a petty game to them for us to kill all their monsters. Hell, I don't care. They left their grenade launcher out there. And the incendiary the grenades. That's their fault. <laughs> Yeah, good luck. Now my uh, incendiary grenades. Anything else I can get in this room? A lot of stuff, actually. What's over here? Another dagger. Wow, they're giving me a shit ton of daggers. How many do I have? Wow, well, four. I'm gonna equip those. I prefer using those. The eagle has a purple eye. That's weird. Anyways, turn off the lights. Yes, I will. Okay, what we want to do here, ooh, I see grenade rounds. I don't need them though because I already have 240 of them. We want to do first with this room, you want to push these blocks up to the moose head and the eagle head. Alright. <clears throat> okay. Or not, not moose and eagle, moose and uh, buffalo seems. But you notice they have a yellow and a red eye. Um, If you notice when the eagle is on them. Hold on, you'll see in a second. You can't get, like, hold on, I'll show you. You can't get the jewel in their eye. So it's in the eye. It looks like you can take it out. Touch something, it refuses to budge, yes. You can't take it out when the eagle is on them. So what you want to do is you want to sneak under the eagle and then hastily go on top of the dresser and get the eye. Yes. Red gemstone. God, I mean, there's so many cast emeralds in this game, it's ridiculous. Okay, same thing with this one. Go! What a dumb eagle. Yeah, another cast emeralds. Only three, only four more, I'm gonna be supersonic. Yeah. I will be supersonic, that'd be awesome. <sighs> but Jill can't jump, you need to jump twice to be supersonic. Oh well. She could just bragging rights, I suppose. Alright. Um What else is there for me to get? I don't know, I'm just gonna um I don't know where I can go. Yes, I can go to the main entrance or the main hallway door thing. Go Jill, go faster. You can't run into the walls, you have to be run to the main hallways. You can't be running into walls like a dumbass.
Indeed. All right, let's. Oh, Hunter! I didn't even see him there. Die. Two hunters. Oh God. Grenade launcher time. Ah. Die. Did I kill him? I did. Good. That scared the living hell out of me, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, anyway guys, after I open this door and close it dramatically, I think I'm gonna call the video here. Uh, this is Fallen Fury signing out of the remake. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.